This is vlog 3.48. Carlos logging ID number 482305. I'm still on hiding. They know. They know there's a mole in the system. But I must continue to provide a glimpse of hope for human survival. Recent research has provided me information about the newly discover discovered creatures found on the planet that are calling Pokemons. Now, these connections have a resemblance with characteristics towards the TV kids anime show because of their way of providing substantial life and resources for other materials. Now, I've just leaked information ab about the pictures and images about them. They seem to be pretty, pretty dangerous, pretty hazardous, but I believe these can be maintained and controlled for the survival of humankind. They come in variety of shapes and sizes and colors, so I hope that be, that's a diversity advantage towards them for their niche as well. Now, there seems to be a very there seems to be every type of Pokemon that fits with a corresponding bi corresponding biosphere, such as Squirtle and Kindler, in the hydrosphere because they provide a water absorption in the water cycle process. Secondly, Pokemon such as Drifling take shelter in the atmosphere where they can provide their life cycle for other animals and for their substantial life in the CO2 realm. As well as Cubane and Lotting lives in the lithosphere because of their rocky niche because they help live in substantial volcanic volcano areas <sighs> now I'm drawing a map of where the most precise species of the planet are now this is planet Kanto most water creatures live in the middle area where there seems to be a substantial amount of water most earth type live in the other two halves of the planet over here now only rare and very powerful fire pokemons live inside or around the trenches area because they provide the most heat for their survival as well as they don't have to compete for other food and survival food characteristics details are still not clear about these but what can I, I do, what I can say is that now all these specific types of Pokemons have a specific location in their ecosystem, but like any good planet, they compete for their survival. There are more powerful Pokemon such as the fire types. They seem to be at the top of their food chain. Similarly, there seems to be a surprise, surprisingly multiple amount of grass and bug type Pokemons that were able to that are able to produce their own chemosynthesis and photosynthesis that will result in a more efficient energy source for human survival. Now this is very essential for humans since we can use their source of energy and be able to convert that into our energy. Now this is very this is oh my goodness no please no no